he's got uh, the comic book box wrapped up in cardboard box uh, so I got my knife and I have to crack this open so I find the seams and I just go through it packaged it right totally sandwiched between multiple cardboards and stuff so nice packaging nice packaging he cared for his comics This one's heavier than the other one. Let's cram a fair bit in here. Hope the comics didn't get uh, too squished. So again, he's got them uh, all grouped together. ones uh, the leftovers from the previous box here and uh, we're gonna take a look at these right let's take a look nice again serious packaging right right bags within bags so he's taking good care of these books right um, new uh, relaunch stuff I just you know these ones uh, I average them out in the spreadsheet and uh, they basically ended up costing uh, uh, 
I paid about dollar twenty-five uh, per comic. Uh, you know, the price tag on these is four bucks, brand new. So, you know, and sometimes you can do that, right? If you want to read something, hold off uh, on getting it until uh, you know people start selling it on eBay or start selling it in lots or go to conventions and buy things in lots, right? Uh, that wasn't my intention i just wasn't buying comics at that time if i knew valiant was doing a relaunch back then i would have hopped on right away um so this lot is uh harbinger <laughs> harbinger really uh this is number zero and it starts off from number one so let me open it up so i was happy to pay f you know what he was asking for this but since i was off sending offers on everything uh, you know, I had to send offers for this as well. And this is um, Ding Ding Harbinger number 0 to 19, so 20 issues. Uh, he had it listed for 35 and um, I paid 28 bucks for it, right? So $1.30 a pop, not including shipping. If you include shipping again, it's, uh, you know, it cost me an extra, uh, you know 24 cents per issue which is a fair bet but uh, these are heavy and I'm I'm in Canada Canada shipping is insane Canada prices are expensive uh, for many many things um, unfortunately so these are listed as being mint that means the guys he bought them new and I'm happy with it um, yeah. and he says uh, you know oh, I am selling a 20 issue comic run of the new Valiant Harbinger series. Issues include 0, 1 to 19, and all for, uh, and all are first prints and in mint condition. Okay. Uh, I have no problem with what he's listed because these are all in mint condition and it's a beautiful run. I mean, I'm not even going to open uh, one of these right now. Uh, should we open? Let's stay consistent. Let's open one. Let's open Harbinger number seven. And uh, Jim Shooter, when he when he started Valiant Comics uh, in the late eighties, uh, early nineteen nineties, when when he went big, um, when he put out Harbinger, uh, I've read a story on this where he picked up Harbinger number one, and I do have Harbinger number one from the early nineties, and he said this book was as important as. Uh, daredevil number one as important as amazing spider-man number one uh and x-men number one one or one of those three anyway and he harbinger number one from the early 1990s 1992 i believe it is as important book as x-men number one um for the comic book realm for the comic book world not to the general public but to the comic book world because it was it was groundbreaking he came up and you know within a couple of years became the third largest publisher challenging uh, you know the top two Marvel and DC uh, and Harbinger number one is an amazing storyline wow or the Harbinger series anyway oh is this Harada Chris Hathaway hmm. wow I know a lot of these, uh, you know, I'm not sure if they're telling stories or not. Uh, retelling the stories in over 20,000. You know, there's nice pages, yeah? Beautiful. So New York comic, the paper quality is very good. Wow, look at this fire. Nice. Beautiful stuff. So super happy with this. Got some reading to do. I've been reading for the new Valiant. So I've been reading Rye and I and uh Dr. Mirage and some of the other books, uh, just randoms here and there. Uh, I do plan on hopping on uh, uh, EXO as well. I love EXO. Uh, 
the characters are amazing so that lot fantastic and let's pick up another batch right so let's put this guy here and as we pull some of these out we'll put some of them back there's a big big package let's crack this open let's see what we got And uh, this should be my comic buy for a while since. Oh, nice. So, number 28. And I think that's the lowest uh, it went that I bought uh, these guys. So, let's see what we got here. Daredevil. So this is Daredevil uh, eight issue lot. Hopefully it's all together. This thing eight issue lot. Uh, he was he was he had him listed at forty bucks, which was reasonable. Uh, you know five bucks a pop. Uh, and I offered thirty, and he took thirty, which is <laughs> better. Uh, and uh, he's graded him uh, between good to uh, very good and number 28 I would definitely grade this better than a good if I crack it open so number 28 two copies of 28 so oh, no the second copy isn't in this batch so it's got to be somewhere else okay so we're gonna make a mental note that there's one 28 not here right now so no 28 Oh, he must have meant 29. He's got two cop listed as 28 and 28, but it's 29. Okay, that's good. So 28, 29, 31, 36, 39, 43, 44, 45, 46, 44, and 46. And uh, I picked these eight up for 30 bucks. Uh, you know, that comes out... Uh, What is 30 divided by um, uh, 30 divided by eight, right? So less than four bucks a pop, and if you average it over everything that I bought, these guys came out to less than um, two bucks a pop, including shipping. And I'm going to look at number 28, the lowest number one. And he's got it listed as good. Uh, I would give this higher based on the cover. But we'll take a look and see. Oh yeah, the cover's detached. Okay, so I'm not gonna pull this sucker out. So a good rating? Yeah, good minus maybe. Right, the cover's detached. Let's take a look at 29. Yeah. I might pop and open 28 anyway. This one's the cover is good. And he's got this one listed as good as well. I mean, the odds are uh, he didn't look at every single one, pull them out and take a look, right? He looked at the covers. He probably forgot that, you know, one was this detached, maybe. Yeah, I would give this one a good plus. And that's one thing Daredevil is known for, the, the panel work of the things, right? Nice. Who were the creators for this? Uh, Stan Lee. Is, oh, I guess Stan Lee wrote this. Hmm. Stan Lee it is then, eh? Uh, Gene Colan, 
I don't know Jim Collin. Um, Stan Lee. Smiling Stan Lee, ink by this. Nice. Stanley book for less than two bucks a pop. We're happy with that. Or less than four bucks a pop. <laughs> right? Three something. If you include shipping, four bucks. We're good with that. Uh, I'm going to crack this open. I want to take a look at number one, uh, number 28. The cover's detached, but I want to make sure the whole thing's stories together, right? Here's the cover. Right. Sets, sits well enough. There's no chunks missing out of it, but it is detached. Stanley, Gene Colon. Oh, beautiful. It's a firm book, actually. It's nice. Too bad about the cover. I would give it a good. Uh, yeah, I would give it a good, but I would have put a note on there saying cover detached. Uh, I'm not sure what the rating system is uh, for detached covers. Uh, probably a good minus, right? But that's okay. So let's throw this one back. Cool. So that's one lot down that we can put aside. And we have some extra daredevils sitting out here. Uh, what were the other ones that we had? 126 so it's not those ones oh there's 46 128 valiant let's see if we can put a package of daredevils together so we're looking for 43 daredevil 43 46 wasn't there a daredevil I was missing 43 oh, no Daredevil. Nope. No, it was 30 something I was missing. 79. No, there's no 79. Okay, so we're looking for uh, 43. Where's a 43 Daredevil one? There's a 43. So does that mean I have two copies of 43? Let's take a look. So I ended up getting two copies of 43, which is, uh, yeah, there is. Cool. Which is with Captain America, which is cool. <laughs> right? This is the cover. The other one's uh, over there. So I knocked off this one already. So I'm looking at one that has another 43 in it. And let's see. Oh, there's one. Cool. Let's do this one. I think this one might be complete now. So this is uh, 10 issues of Daredevil. It goes from 43 to 67. And again, they're from good to fine. So 43, 46, 47, 48, 51, 58, 62. We had from the previous box. 64, 66, and 67. Perfect. Right. So there's 10. Okay. And he had listed this for 30, and I'm pretty sure I paid 25. So 250 a pop um, for this one. And uh, yeah, we're happy with that. Uh, and they're good to find. And I think they're, yeah, there's a lot more towards the fine grade than there is towards the good grade. 
which is perfect. Let's take a look at the, this one. Uh, Captain America number uh, 43. Crack it open. Yeah, I would give this one a good plus, right? Fine minus. for this is, or the writer I'm assuming I'm not sure if it's still Stan Lee doing it and here's the Captain America popping up right Captain America let's take a look and uh, Stan Lee and uh, Colin Gene Colin uh, so Stan Lee wrote it and uh, G. Colin, I think, uh, penciled it. And the inking was done with uh, Vince Colita, lettering R.T. Simic. Simic. Cool. Nice. So that's another batch done. Right. So it went up to 67. And that's that up to 67 cool so these guys these guys and these guys can be put in this box one is once i create a little bit of space right so let's take a look at this one what's this one look like i don't know i can't tell he's packaged them really well number two right XO number two he's got uh, you know XO six seven eight and he goes all the way out you know XO man of war number 18 and this was uh, let's find this this was with the solar stuff and he had listed at 35 and I bought these for 20 bucks and uh, just back in the day, just a note, uh, in the early 90s, I bought a lot of Valiance and, uh, and I did go to some shows when the prices were going skyrocket and I sold a lot of these books. I bought them all off the shelf and I was getting discounts off the comics books. So I was buying these things. The price tag is $1.95 and they were pretty expensive for the time because a lot of comics you could buy for $1.25. And I would buy these off the racks uh, with a little bit of discount and I was... You know, I, I bought multiple copies because I loved them. And I was thinking of maybe, you know, they'd be worth something later on. And they were if you were around back then. And I did sell a lot of these. So this one, I bought this whole thing with the Solar stuff. How many books total? I don't even know. Let's check it out. This is... Uh, he hasn't even listed how many books. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 books I bought for 20 bucks. Dollars something a pop. Um, I think I sold these XOs for like 50, 60 bucks back then. Uh, if you include inflation and whatnot, it was a lot of, you know, it was a good profit. It, it was good money. And I was just flipping that back into buying more comic books. I grew my comic book collection a lot back then because I was getting funds coming in. So I was supplementing uh, my comic book buying. And, um, you know, this is the first appearance of Exo Man of War. And it's got a continuing series going on right now. And right now, if you're into investing, I think some of the earlier Exos, uh, earlier Valiant comics are worth the buy. Uh, just putting a side note out there because um, uh, from what I've read of the people that bought the new Valiant relaunched it they plan on growing Valiant for it to be number three 
And if the trend continues right now with movies, TV shows and stuff like this, if anything like that comes along for Valiant, um, these things will possibly could be worth uh, more money than 20 bucks for a lot, right? Uh, anyway, there should be 20 here. I'm not going to bother going through these. Um, actually, I'll go through Exum and War number one because I'm going to show it to you. Um, at the time, I mean, the covers were very simple for Valiant Comics. Uh, at the time, there were, you know, a lot of the other publishers, they're called, the covers were busy. And it was insane. It was, it was a crazy period in comics, the 90s. Insane period. Uh, with the distributor wars and Marvel going almost belly up. Well, it did go belly up. Uh, so these are listed in mint condition and they're in, in grading system. You would rate them as uh, a near mint, right? But they're basically mint condition, right? I don't think they've ever been read. Nice. Oh man, this brings back memories. The first Thanos, the first page of EXO, right? Beautiful. And the color scheme for Valiant Comics was absolutely brilliant. Very vibrant, very vibrant. And EXO is, uh, he was a barbarian, I guess, Savage Lands or whatever you call it. He was a barbarian and he came across the exo armor and he's a warrior he's basically iron man for uh, for valiant comics uh his tech is you know in anime there's a lot of the stuff with uh, armor and people getting into armor and stuff like this and some of them are amazing man yeah anyway some of them are amazing we won't go on a tangent uh, one day we'll start talking about animation so these are awesome. Uh, so all we gotta do is make sure you know they're all here. And um, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18, and then we got the solars. Let's check out the solars. And this is uh, solar number two, three. Uh, I think Harada did the first appearance of number three. Uh, and then six and seven and then what we have here this is actually the second printing of uh, man of the atom number 10 and uh, it's the first uh, cameo appearance full page appearance of eternal warrior and this is the first appearance first full appearance of eternal warrior uh, solar number 11 uh, very underrated books very underrated books okay so awesome that's good to go let's pick up another lot let's check this out GI combat, cool. Because we're looking for the GI combat, right? The previous box uh, didn't have everything filled up. And I think we're looking for 22 more. And I'm gonna assume they're all gonna be here. I'm not gonna go back and do the counts, but we'll count them. Uh, but I'm not gonna match them up. GI combat, where is the page? GI combat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's, I think, another eleven we're looking for, which is might be the vertical stuff. Uh, but they all seem to be here. Uh, two fifty one. Yep. Two fifty nine. Um, range from fine now nah, he has some stuff here that's not 
board it, so I'll have to go back and board these. But they look like uh, good comics. Yeah. I do collect some war comics. Uh, not sure why, but I like it. I like collecting them. These are the Herbingers. Put these guys over here. These are the, they're heavy. New York books are heavy. They're super heavy New York books. So that's why this box was uh, heavier, I guess. They're printed in higher quality paper, the ink they use, everything. That's partially the reason for the price increases. But uh, I mean, there's inflation as well, but uh, I wish they would reduce the prices because I think what's happened is uh, Oh, and I know what this is. And uh, I think the price, the cost of the books is uh, uh, too expensive for kids to get into comic books. Oh, you guys are going to love this. This is Secret Wars. Full set. Two copies of each. And uh, this is Marvel's Secret Wars. Um, and... It's one to five, and he says they're in mint condition, so they would be near mint in grading, and they look amazing. And he's put two issues in each bag. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. After, uh, I've been watching S.H.I.E.L.D., of course, and after it was revealed Sky was quick, uh, I was looking for this, so I got two copies of this now, right? So awesome. And Marvel's is doing a uh, Secret Wars thing again. I'm just going to crack this open. And oh, the price wise in this, there's 12 books in total, right? He had to list them at 30, and I ended up picking this up for 25, which is an amazing price. Uh, the cover price, I don't even know what the cover price on these is. would list this as a very fine plus okay but a lot of books you pick off the shelves right now are very fine plus uh, wow I don't know uh, well I know some of the story background to this this is Bendez and uh, Delato Gabriel Delato beautiful and these are printed as seriously high quality paper. They're uh, prestige format, I guess you call them. I'm just gonna show you this. It's a little dark, the pa panels are dark. I'm not sure if this is gonna come out well or not. So 12 bucks. I mean, the price tag on this in Canada was 5.75. Well, we'll do US, it was four bucks US. And uh, up paying uh, two bucks a pop and these things are going for higher value especially this this one uh, so I'm happy to get this set I haven't read it and I will give it a read uh, happy happy okay so let's start putting some of these back because they're starting to take up a lot of space let's throw the Harfingers in first Put the GI combat in next. Okay, and I'm gonna pick up a box, another bag, and I'm gonna put the Secret Wars in there. <laughs> Super happy about the Secret Wars. I've been looking for these, right? Nice. Okay, let's take a look. Where are you? Where are you? There's the seam. So I'm going to crack this open. Another one. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, master of kung fu, and well, let's pull him out and see. And again, some of these. Um, Some of these books are really hard to find in really good condition and mint condition and these are beautiful copies. Master of Kung Fu, where are you Master of Kung Fu? Master of Kung Fu. Uh, he had he had these listed for twelve fifty and I offered him twelve bucks. Uh, and there's eight issues. And let's see, hopefully they're all together here yes they are nice <laughs> awesome so he's listed them in mint condition so basically near mint number 18 19 22 23 24 25 number 100 uh, 1 Oh, one. Ah, there's supposed to be 125 in here. So 125 is not here. He's got uh, 101. Did he say 101? One hundred and one. It's supposed to be 125, but he's got 101. Uh, which is okay. Which is so how many comics are supposed to be one two three four five eight so there is eight comics total and uh, what kind of condition are they really good condition fantastic condition okay beautiful condition Let's crack one open. Let's crack open number 18. says very fine to near mint actually so this is <laughs> near mint for sure Steve Englehart uh, not the author Paul Gullacy I don't know Gullacy cool beautiful book oh very nice condition <laughs> I like this it is is near mint minor no this is near mint this is a good book cool, cool. cool. that's a beauty and we got bullet shots sweet oh this isn't all the bloodshot let's see so there's another uh, there's a whole bunch of blood shots so we're gonna have to put it on the side to put them all together it's got to be in another box or another pack anyway Let's put this here. Let's grab one more. Where is our knife? Right. So all I do is just go across and crack this open. There's tape on them and there's board on this side, right? So boop. sometimes it's trickier if they're tighter. Uh, tighter in there. Harbinger nice unity 
So uh, picked up Unity. Um, let's check it out. Unity one to four. He listed it for six. I picked it up for four. So buck a pop. Uh, I'm very happy to pay a buck a pop for reading Unity. And these things are like last year, I think. Anyway, there's four in here. Valiance Unity. And the Unity storyline from the 1980s was absolutely brilliant as well. Nice, so that's Unity. Quantum and Woody. There's Quantum and Woody here. I don't know where the Quantum and Woody is. Let's see. Shadow Man. Harbinger Wars. Harbinger Wars. Harbinger Wars. Harbinger Wars. Quantum and Woody. There we go. Nice. I was actually looking to... Uh, read Quantum and Woody number one and pick up this series and this was uh, like a few months ago last year um, I believe anyway there's a lot of a uh, lot of hype on this uh, people are loving it actually so let's take a look I don't know where this one is so that's unity let's see there's shadow man here but uh, I don't think it came with the shadow man no nope. So we haven't come across Shadow Man yet. Um, let's see. Harbinger Wars, five issues. So we got the Harbinger Wars. Let's just check that out. Harbinger Wars, five issues. He had them listed for eight. I picked them up for six. Quantum of Woody, number five. Harbinger Wars. There's uh, five books, two copies of number one or two different variant covers. Cool. Looking forward to reading those. That's good. And then what have we got? Bloodshots, Harbinger. Where was Bloodshots? Oh yeah, Bloodshot we couldn't complete yet because I wonder if this was with the Bloodshot lot. No. I'm not sure why I have the Unity, well, Quantum Woody, that looks like it's an extra, he must have thrown that in there to fill it up. Sweet, thank you. That's fantastic. Let's grab another box, or another pack, and put these ones back in there. We'll put the Master of Consumers back in. And we'll put these guys back in. Sweet. And let's crack this open. Right? Let's crack it open. No, this one's rougher. There we go. Got a lot of bags laying around now. What have we got here? Bloodshot. Nice. And Bloodshot's fantastic. Um, made his first appearance in Rye number zero. And uh, oh, there's more Harbingers here. 19. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't take it to 19 over there. So Harbingers, I gotta put back there. This is Bloodshot. Nice. Bloodshot zero. Bloodshot number one. Right. So this Bloodshot goes. Um, let's check it out. Bloodshot from zero to eighteen. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So sweet. I like Bloodshot. Descendant of Rye, basically. And 
this was supposed to be Harbinger. I was supposed to go to Harbinger 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So how hard do we go? Oh yeah, there's 14, right? So I'm gonna plop these back and put them in order. So my Harbingers are in order. Cool. And we're gonna put the blood shots in here. Actually, we're gonna put out one of these guys. I'm gonna put blood shots in here. Four more um, packs to go through, okay? It takes a while, eh, to organize your comics. Entertainment, entertainment. Let's check it out. Oh, this one's bigger, so it's going to take a little bit more doing to open it. GI combat so we need it uh, and the war store is cool so I think if I remember correctly we needed 11 more war comics right so one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven perfect GI combat number 125 Sorry, that's the price tag. This is GI Combat 279, right? 280. The losers. The losers. I'm not sure if this was, uh, they made the movie out of this or not. The movie, The Losers. Uh, could be. I gotta check into that actually. And then we got Garth and his vertical war stories awesome some of these aren't in boards so i'll have to put them in boards cool so i'm gonna put this on the side because some of the comics need to be boarded let's crack open another one so all the war comics were there well not sure if all the numbers were there. They look right. Uh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Shadow Man. Awesome. 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 <laughs> Can't wait. So Shadow Man starts off with number zero. Uh, and the Bloodshot, uh, if I didn't tell you, Bloodshot, he was selling them for 35. I grabbed them for 25, right? So 19 comics for 25 bucks. And Shadow Man, Shadow Man, where is Shadow Man? Shadow Man. Shadow Man run. Um, was from zero to 14, all in mint condition, which basically means near mint, but mint condition, and they all look like mint condition. And here's Shadow One number zero. Dark, sort of. And Shadow Man number one. Shadow Man was awesome. Uh, great read. Voodoo magic. Dark. And one of the greatest uh, villains, Master Dark. Wow, what a great villain. Let's see what we got. I think we still need Daredevils to complete some of the lots. So we'll take a look. Okay, 
what have we got? Number 88. Let's see if we can put a daredevil number 88 together. Daredevil number, there we go. So daredevil number, this lot should be, is there an 82? Come on, there we go. So this one was a lot of 12. He was selling it for 30. I bought it for, I believe 25. I bought it for 25. And it goes from 88 to 90, 82 to 99. So let's check it out. We got 82, 83, three copies of 84. 80, we need 87, 87, there's 87. So 84, 87, 88, 90, 91, 95, 96, and 99. And these are, he's um, put them in the range of good to very good. Just from the cover of this, number 82 is very good very good right. and here's uh, 83 all oh, listen mr. Hyde to oh wow mr. Hyde's on this black widow and this looks like a great copy I'm gonna crack this one open let's crack it open so 12 daredevils Close to the hundreds, four. So this is what kind of condition? To very good. Uh, I would just give this one a very good minus. Uh, who are the artists for this? And the authors: Stan Lee, editor; Jerry Conway, writer; Alan Wise, artist; Bill Everett, Bill Everett, inker; Artie Semite, letter. Barry Windsor Smith, or Barry Smith, but he's, I'm pretty sure this Barry Windsor Smith, Barry Windsor Smith is a legend, he's amazing. Daredevil and the Black Widow. And Mr. Hyde, I think this is Mr. Hyde from uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Sky's dad, right? Cool, looks great. Classic, classic, classic panels, right? And this should be uh, 1970, 1971, 1971, 1971, cool, very nice, happy, happy, daredevil. As far as investment goes, I hope the series is good because these would be a great investment if the series is not good uh, no worries uh, they're great comics so uh, this goes all the way to 99 and 99 looks like to be in rougher shape so I would say it's a good copy good plus actually still a nice copy sweet nice books so I'm gonna plop these ones in And if you remember, we're looking for uh, 106, I believe. And this was good minus copy. Looks like it anyway. 106, Daredevil. Let's see if we can find it. Nope. And we're looking for a 79. And here's a 79. Cool. 79. Right. I'm just going to put this one in here. And one oh six. Ah, 
pretty sure, oh yeah, there's the 106 we're looking for. So I'm just going to throw the 106 on too. So he said uh, this lot with the 106 was very good plus to find, but this is definitely a, you know, at best a, go uh, a good. So overrated on this lot. We're overgraded on this lot, not rated, but overgraded. And this is the last uh, pack. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I'm not sure if you, uh, how many of you have stuck around to go through it all two boxes, <laughs> but for me it's fun, really. Uh, and I have enough reading material now. Well, I'm going to be reading all the harbinger, all the. All the valiants, that's for sure. And I'm gonna probably take a look at some of the horror stuff. Um, the the giant sizes. Maybe we'll do a reading from one of those uh, compilations, like the way we did in the last uh, readings that we did. And these are all daredevils. All, all of them daredevils. A huge lot. So let's take a look. There's something we're looking over here with the daredevils. What was I looking for? So we, I need two copies of, or I need 136. And uh, 137, we needed a filler, right? So there's two copies of 136 and a 137. So these ones were missing from the previous batch. And they're here now two copies of 136 and they're supposed to be very good to find plus condition and from the covers they look good I would have to pull them out uh, to take a look but based on what we've seen so far uh, the guys have been pretty accurate right now we're looking for 134 let's see 134 copies of 134 two copies of 135 hmm. I wonder oh here we go daredevil so this daredevil oh I think this was the first uh, thing we tried to do right maybe one of them 126 do we have 126 here I saw 126 somewhere here we go this is the 126 so what do we got here what do we got here so for this lot uh, 13 issues very good to find plus asking 25 paid 30 we got 126 two copies 128 129 two copies of 130 two copies of 133 three copies of 134 and two copies of 135 Not bad. let's crack open so these are this is very good to find find plus not bad They're definitely very good plus This one definitely looks like a fine plus. Let's check it out. Here, we'll check out this one. So we're gonna check out uh, 133. There's two copies of these. So let's see. 
which is fine plus same deal wow so much writing crazy amount of writing uh, Mo Marv Wolfman Bob Brown and Jim Mooney artists so Marv Wolfman is the writer I haven't read um, the earliest Daredevils I've read are uh, Frank Miller's and I haven't read any of these so look forward to at least reading one or two of these just to see hopefully I can find a run a story and read the whole thing so this looks good as well perfect so that's that and that's that and that's that so I bought uh, 20 different um, 20 different lots from uh, uh, in this in this huge selection that I bought so I've been opening up as different panels uh, different uh, uh, what do you call it uh, different tabs so uh, as long as I got 20 tabs open we're in the clear right so there's one two three four five six eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Awesome. I got some work to do. I got to go and board, uh, put boards in a couple of them. Uh, well, some of the handful of the comics. And uh, uh, this was my buy. Um, it's, uh, it's, if you're buying comic books, uh, if you're collecting comics, it's, uh, you know, you end up, uh, buying single issues because you need to fill things up or you end up buying lots of runs of stuff or lots of stuff uh, for this stuff for daredevils i've decided uh, uh, to approach it by buying lots off ebay and then once i finish buying i got a pretty good idea of what i have uh, my main thing is to get you know the early numbers one two whatever it is like 50 or so and i'm buying multiples uh, you know if there's um, doubles triples of stuff I'll just end up putting those back on eBay and uh, once I complete my run I'll just get rid of the extras sell the extras at some point maybe right um, and that's the way I'm approaching the daredevil buys uh, the valiant buys uh, they're my reads uh, I love valiant comics uh, for the tomb of Dracula and GI combat and some of the other ones uh, I'm curious on those I, I like war comics uh, I like I like looking at it sort of tells us history right human artifacts and horror magic and uh, voodoo stuff is um, i find it interesting it's uh, you know some of the more g-rated stuff with the comic code of code approved and more of the adult oriented stuff with hellblazer and nothing touches hellblazer really uh, if you ever get a chance uh, read hellblazer right as far as that genre goes okay uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed going through this uh this collection going through this buy um and um, yeah i loved it uh, fun fun little thing to do for a couple of hours um, and just uh you know get exposed to some um, some art some history and uh yeah, get all excited okay i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now